Okay, I'm back. Uh, finished doing what we're doing, but I will tell you, if you're new, this is for a generator. I'm using this one. This came off the one that I've been working on. The piston don't look as, hell, as well, looks about like that. I would like to use that one because, well, no, I was using, either way, I am putting this one together to use for the other one that wasn't tore up and hopefully it'll work, so, uh, yeah, so let's continue doing what I was doing. That there. Look at that pieces on there. I guess it don't matter with this. It'll stay there. Hit this with the little bit of the sandpaper to make it look a little e better. And it probably won't look that much better, but you know what I'm saying. Dumbass. It ain't looking much better, but it does look a hair better. So, make sure you orientate them right. Have something underneath to hold it. Make sure they're straight. And that's the way it'll look. All right, so that part is done. Now, what else could I do? Well, I guess I can pull the generator down here. Clean this stuff up and bring the generator down here because I got to... I no idea. Just scared the shit out of me, though. Anyways, uh, back to doing what I was doing. So I'm gonna clean this right here up. Bring the generator down here so I don't have to move you guys around that much. Not a quit. Move the impact, move the hammer out the way just a hair. This in here I'm going to leave down here because that's the one I'm going to use. Uh, I don't think there's anything else on this I could use. Nope, I can't even get that off so I'll have to come up with something for that. Wait. That one there I'm not going to use, so we'll stick this right back up behind y'all. The screwdriver. What little sandpaper I got. Bolts and screws and stuff. Got to move them. Actually, no, I'm going to put this top together completely first. That way I don't forget much. Good like that. I don't remember. Um, did they go like that? I think it went like that. Can y'all see that? Yeah, some of y'all probably hollering at me already. That's the way it goes. Where's that other one? Take it completely off. Ow. 
because this is the one I'm going to use. What the hell is that? It's wood. All right, so this is the one I'm going to use. So where's this spring at? This one has a bit of a spring, right there. No, it's just a pain in the ass to move. Okay, that's what the spring is for. Keep it there. So grab one of these. Get it started. And I need a different size for that. Didn't I? Yep, I threw that here. Get that piece for the impact. <clears throat> I gotta take the battery off. I got more batteries, but this is the only one that's charged. Hey, now, calm down. Now, I ain't even gonna pull that thing out. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I ain't gonna torque it down just yet because it needs to be on the generator to do that. So that's on. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna have to move the screws and bolts and stuff out the way. I don't know nope, that didn't go to this them are broken but I'll still set them over here out the way uh, M2P uh, uh, ratchet get them out the way of that that's a shield okay now move stuff out of the way for here I don't know where that goes, so I'm gonna just stick that wherever it fits. Move that out the way. I will set you up a little different that way you can possibly see what I am doing. Get out of my way. I'm set you over here by me. Now we got to switch the drills again, the batteries, of the battery. Now it works. But I'm going to be hitting this with this wire wheel. Hopefully it don't scratch it up too bad. I guess I gotta take my shirt off. I oh, know I just untuck it. I might can stretch it out and get most of that crap out of there now. And you probably shouldn't do this, but I'm doing it anyways.
She ain't looking the healthiest up there, but let's flip it around and halfway upside down. Okay. Can y'all see that? Right down here. Can y'all see that? I can. I gotta hit that again. But maybe I could prop it up so when it hits it and it takes the stuff out of there, it'll just come out instead of back down in there, keeping me from having to use my shirt. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, looks pretty good. It look good, looking good. It even feel good. Bulky mother sucker. Horn blows. What size is that? That's probably a 10. Give me a second. I'm going to take this freaking plate off right here. And see if this 8 will fit. If it don't, then it's probably a 10. Yep, that's a 10. So, I gotta separate these. Get this one off of here, which is a 10. Before I put it in the ratchet, let's find out. Yep, I was right. <sighs> put it in reverse. And she's removed. Plate's gone. Now I can move this thing around without, well, get anything getting in my way. But before I get too far going into anything, see if I clean these threads out. I'll probably grab my tap and die set that I got. A little cheap set that my wife bought me because I needed one for something. I don't remember what, but needed it for something. So she bought me one. So I'll probably use that to... Yeah. Retrace these threads. Can y'all see down in there? Let's see. Huh? That's where all that nastiness was. Feels just like that all the way around. Looks like shit, but hey, it works. Now, hopefully, when I actually remember to put the, when I go to put this together, hopefully, I completely remember how to do that. Because it's been. Oh, a year and a half? It's got to be close to a year and a half. If I'm in y'all way, I'm sorry. Oh, crap. That one ain't even long enough. Oh, let's try this right here.
Okay. All right. That actually feels actually need a complete a rotation. Ooh. Now come on. Well, I know it blows a little bit, figuratively speaking. Right here, it kind of blew some stuff up for me to deal with. Oh, snap. Well, I put this here on, this piece here. Oh, right down in here is where them rods go. There's two of them. You know, one for each side. One for the exhaust, one for the gas. That way, what's inside of here um, will tell you, tell it what piston to push on. And right here, they kind of like rock on here. Once you have them down, screwed so far, they'll push down on each one of these to say, "Hey, this is the one I want open." And I think it's a uh, two or three hit or uh, one hit. And then it rotates for two or three times, and then it hits again. That way, uh, uh, you got you got your gas. It pushes your gas, let gas in, and then it rotates a couple of times and lets it fire off. Uh, your spark plug will hit, and then it'll spin another time. Open the exhaust. Exhaust comes out. And then it rotates again. Gas comes in, rotates, exhaust goes out. But I think it goes on like this. Yep. About, about like that. And I got to get this metal shim up here, which is more or less a gasket. I didn't, I forgot to take it in where I can clean it. So I'll just use my shirt and wipe it down the best I can. Hopefully I can be done by the time this thing hits 20 minutes. Well, y'all probably don't already know how long it took me. Because the video tells you how long it is. Hey, it's cleaning up pretty nice. Alright, uh. It goes on something like that. So that goes on like this. Anyhow, uh, I'm gonna get a bolt that holds this stuff on. Run it down through probably this one here since it's the easiest. So that'll go through that one. I just kind of done that. I should probably chase it first, but I'm too lazy to do that. We got that one in. Let's get this one in. Make sure the gasket ain't getting screwed up. Okay, now it's pretty much held on there. Sorry for the wind. After this one here, I'm gonna be done. Yeah, see, 20 minutes, I didn't make it. After I put this on and give it just a little bit of a torque, I'm gonna just call it a day. I'm already tired. Alright, a 
we get the ratchet. Put it down here. And just like heads on a vehicle, you want to go at a crisscross pattern. I think is what they call it. I guess probably not putting a lot of torque on there would be better. Instead of doing like I'm doing. But they shouldn't take a lot of torque anyways. Oh, no. You stay on there. Okay. Okay, uh, that's on there. I'm gonna have to figure a way to cover these up because it's supposed to rain tonight. So, let me just bring you up a lot higher so I don't have to hold you. Like I said, I'm tired. Uh, okay, maybe you ain't going up high enough. Maybe I can get you go low enough. Let's set you up here. Yeah, for the most part. Uh, alright, so, I gotta figure out how to cover these up. Well, at least this one, the one I'm gonna be using. Well, the stuff. Okay, the only thing that's gonna really hurt. I'm gonna cover up the stuff that's gonna hurt that I'm not gonna use. Or that I am gonna use. Cover that stuff up. and pretty much call it a day i guess i could throw this gas or this little piece here on there no because i gotta have the rocker never mind hey wonder if one on my lawnmower will work don't i have one besides my nephews i gotta take one of my riders uh one of my murray riders one of mine not my nephews I might get some uh, rockers and uh, stuff like that. It might fit this. Just maybe. But that's a 12 and a half. The one, I'm, the one that I can actually mess with is a 12 and a half. And I'm not sure what these are, but they might be a 12 or a 10 something. I don't know. Not very big ones, but it might work. If they do, then that would be great. But if they don't, then, well, that sucks. But anyways, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Uh, make sure you hit, them like button, uh, hit the like button because that really helps me out. Uh, it lets YouTube know to kind of put my stuff out there. Uh, share it on your Facebook. That way people can find me. And the link, uh, sometime, uh, when I first started doing this, we tried to look up my channel, you know, my wife did, and she was just finding other people. So if you put it on Facebook and your friends or your family, you know, stuff like that, they could see it, then they could just click on it, and then, you know, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I guess until next time, stay weird.